Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video for News Thursdays, and we have so much news to get into this week. Everything from new minifigure reveals to Lego Ideas projects to 130th birthdays. Anyways, let's start off. So, as some of you guys may know, the Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video game has been delayed, unfortunately, again. I think spring 2021 is a new date. This actually was a Twitter post that came from, I think, TT Games. It says, all of us at TT Games are working hard to make LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, the biggest and best ever LEGO game, but we're going to need more time to do it. I'm not going to read the entire thing. I'm sure you guys can read that. Um, so it looks like they actually won't be able to make the intended spring release date. It might be a little bit longer. And they said that they're going to provide updated launch timing. So for all of you fans that are interested in that, I am sorry to disappoint. But I hope that will um, mean that the quality will stay high or that's, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Um, anyways, we have quite a few April Fool's, I guess, jokes or pranks that were pulled by the LEGO community. I know it might be a little bit late. It's almost, uh, I think, the 8th now of April. I have actually tried to give credit to all of the, um, I guess, designers or creators. If I miscredit or accidentally don't credit anyone, I do apologize for that and... I, uh, I I don't mean to steal anyone else's things. Um, this one actually comes from Ash and Flash, a Lego artist and YouTuber. Um, looks like they designed this cool little um, fake or custom box art. That's the Batman classic TV series Batcopter. This is really well done, actually. Um, I, I think that is quite similar to the one we got in the Batcave. And uh, the design for the minifigures is obviously really good. I think that's what he specializes in. So good job on that. Um, then we have the Vegetables <laughs> Collection, Wild Leaks, comes from Brick Fans, And this one is also really good. I mean, I know it's a joke, but they did such a good job with this. It's just really funny to see that it's kind of similar to the Botanical Collection they did. Now, this one comes from Brick Finder, and this is the Lego house in Singapore. So this was obviously a fake announcement that they're moving the house, I think, to Singapore. And then we have another one that is just a little, I think, magnet. Now this one comes from Brick Nerd, and this was just a logo change. They were just changing it to this sort of blander uh, logo, and I guess that was really the joke. Now Brickset actually did an 18 plus Duplo design. I guess with all the recent 18 plus sets, they came up with this idea. I thought that was another pretty funny one. Um, Euro Bricks, they kind of tempted fans here, I guess, with the breaking news Lego group to release a new pirate ship. I guess we did get kind of lucky last year with the Pirates of Barracuda Bay, but unfortunately I don't think we are getting another pirate ship yet. Um, we, we have yet to see what comes in the future. This one actually came from Lego, and unfortunately I realized I didn't put the video. It was on their Instagram though, um, Smart Bricks, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It's pretty much Lego bricks that like repel from your feet or your hands whenever you're going to step on them. And I know that's kind of a joke with uh, within the Lego community and outside of the Lego community that stepping on bricks is painful, which it is. So these bricks go away from you. Um, we actually have two, I think, from the Rambling Brick. This is the new 2x4 brick mold introduced as part of limited edition collector's bricks. I think this is a joke something like Ikea did with uh, like the left and the right little screw, right? Because it's the same. It's just one is upside down. And then we have the limited edition 2x4 bricks to celebrate 2x4 day. I, I'm actually not 100% sure what's the story behind these uh, these bricks. I think they were part of the molding factory or something, and I, I have a feeling that they go for quite a bit in the aftermarket, but I guess that was another prank. Um, we're reaching the end. We have one from Rebrickable. This was the <laughs> removal of minifigs from the database. It was a very funny article to read. I guess he was talking about how there's so many minifigures and they're removing some from the database. Um, I think this is the last one. This comes from the Brothers Brick. And another fake set is the Brick Stick Semi-Permanent Adhesive. And again, really, really convincing design there. Okay, so here we have something on the VIP website. This is the uh, Lego Space Logo Collectible Coin. I think any North America might be wrong on that one. Um, so this is interesting. This went out of stock, I think, faster than any other one had. And I'm pretty sure you can only redeem one. I actually redeemed my first one this time. I, yeah, I guess I just wanted to see what it looks like. I haven't gotten one yet. And these are going for crazy, crazy prices in the aftermarket. I'm kind of tempted to sell it, but I, I really don't want to be a scalper. I feel like I have become one though. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with this with this coin. Um, so yeah, this is huge news. I know a lot of you guys are interested. You've 
almost definitely heard about this if you're involved in the Lego community. And I did a little community post on this. I'll actually show you this picture a little bit better quality. And I do apologize if I get any of the names wrong. I know I'm not the, uh, the best at Looney Tunes. So let's go left to right. I'll, I'll start with the bottom row. So over here looks like we have the Tasmanian Devil. Has a spinning base similar to what Frozen has. I guess you can kind of spin it around and make it look like uh, what the Tasmanian Devil does in the show. He has a chicken or turkey leg and a little pie. And a brand new molded head which looks like a, a theme going around all of these figures. Now, I do understand that these were probably pretty expensive because Lego had to create so many new molds. And to me, that sort of justifies the $5 price. Again, this is only there are only 12 characters in this, similar to Series 21. Oops. And it also comes in a box of 36. So my guess is that it's going to be the same as Series 21 and come with three full sets in a factory sealed box. Now, obviously, in store, some people will switch it out and maybe... Uh, stuff like that. But if you get a factory sealed box, it should be um, just three sets of 12. Now, um, yeah, let's continue to go through it. We have Sylvester over here. Comes with a baseball bat. And I don't see the other. I think there are actually a couple more accessories. I won't be able to cover everything. This is just a sort of surface overview. Then over here, it looks like we have Speedy Gonzalez with his head hat mold. And then some cheese pieces, which definitely look quite useful. Looks like he actually comes with three of them. Then we have, I think, Lola Bunny here with a basketball. Looks like just a normal ball, but I guess they're asking you to imagine it as a, as a basketball. We have Tweety Bird, and there's been a little bit of discussion about why this is a minifigure. I'll be honest, compared to the other figures, it does look a little bit strange as a figure. I mean, I kind of think it would have worked very well as a, as a little piece on its own, but I'm not complaining. I know that it's obviously hard to make choices for this, so I think it's, it's cool. Um, I guess this is definitely one of the big the big pulls, and that's Bugs Bunny. Definitely one of the most popular characters. For me, that's one character I definitely want to pick up. Um, comes with a carrot. We have then Daffy Duck with a rabbit season little sign over there. In the back, we have a character I actually didn't know much about. That's a Petunia Pig, and I don't see the accessory. I think there might be a teapot over there. Then we have Porky Pig with the famous That's All Folks sign, and I think that's a super, super cool print that they've done. Then we have uh, Willy E. Coyote chasing after the Roadrunner. And I think the Roadrunner comes with this little bowl of seeds or popcorn. I, I think seeds makes more sense. Um, I guess we have the, the chicken or the bird arms that was also used in the past. And uh, I really do like the head mold on both of them. I mean, I know that's kind of my opinion. Some people are not the biggest fans. The head does look a little bit oversized, but I think it's very important for us to remember that this is based on a comic series. So the, promo the proportions are obviously comical. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, looks like we have Marvin the Martian. Uh, they really captured the essence of this character well. And I think this might be the only one with a minifigure head. All the other ones are molded. So I am excited for this series. I think minifigures definitely have a lot of appeal and I have kind of been sucked into the whole collecting and <laughs> the appeal because it is it is quite interesting and fun, I guess, to collect all of these. So I am excited for this series. Let's see how the release comes. I think the official date right now is April 26, 2021. And uh, we'll see. Sometimes these start popping up in stores. I mean, you can tell that this popped up, I think, in California. Uh, Tom's Toys, if I'm not wrong. Anyways, let's move on. We have the Lisbon Tram. This is a Lego Ideas project that has reached the 10,000 supporters mark. Really fantastic. Love the buildings, and I think that's so cool that they have a tram. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I guess this is based on Lisbon, the city. So that is pretty neat. We actually have a sale on the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Moments. I know I don't really do a ton of sales like in the videos anymore, but I thought this was something cool to share because I don't think these have been on sale yet. Um, you can check them out. I'll leave links to, I guess, the three and maybe even some more that I have found. So here we have the Ultra Boost DNA by slash crossover uh, Lego plates. So this is a shoe by Adidas and they're working with Lego here. And this was announced just like a week ago or so. Retails for $200. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk a, bit, a little bit more about that at the very end. Another LEGO Ideas project that has hit that 10,000 supporters mark. And this is the Winter Snow Globe. A really, really sweet set. I feel like this would work really well as a, um, like a promotional or a gifted purchase. Maybe not so much as a set. 
Again, just my opinion, but I think this is a very nice, cool set. So this is news that I <laughs> was really disappointed to hear. I, I saw a comment on it on one of my videos, and I, I talked about it there, but you guys probably know about the BrickLink Designer Program. I have actually talked about it in the past. We, I guess, this is going on in 2021. We have the Invitational, and we're actually steadily moving to the pre-production uh, phase. Anyways, I, I will get right to the point. So among, the, I think, the 31 projects, maybe? I, I hope that's right. There are three, actually, that were created by the same creator. That is Robin Ann. And uh, this is actually the same designer behind the old fishing store. So I don't know how well some of you guys know me or my Lego interests, but that is probably, I guess you could call it my white whale or the set that I really want but I haven't purchased yet. Um, I really think this is a very talented designer. Um, I Sorry, I think he is a very talented designer. And I was super sad to see that this project had been archived. So really what that means for us is that these projects are not going to be built through the LEGO Designer program. I mean, obviously, it wasn't guaranteed before there was a chance, but now it's all three of these projects have been archived. Obviously, I was disappointed to see that. Now, you probably might see that I have a couple of links up here. That's Blue Bricks, and this is actually a clone, a LEGO clone. So it's not LEGO specifically, but it is a brand of building bricks. Now, the same designer that we talked about, Robin N, or Robin N, I'm not sure actually what their actual name is. Um, they have worked with this company, Blue Bricks. Um, they're authorized RA empty brick design. You can search more about that. Anyways, they have created projects which are uh, identical. Well, I mean, almost effectively identical, right? So we have the, where is it? The dive shop, right? It's pretty much like, um, oops, it's very similar. So it looks like, yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're working with a different company. And you know what? There might be a completely different reason why it was archived, right? But I have a... I mean, I, I think there's a pretty good chance that this is the reason, right? Because Lego is working directly with Bricklink. And it probably doesn't make sense for them to work with a designer that is also selling their models to a clone company. Um, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm surprised that it got this far without them finding out. Then again, it wasn't easy even for me to find it, even though I knew that Blue Bricks was selling it because it never says specifically that it's the same name, right? It says Dive Shop and Dive Shop, but the other ones, I don't even think they have the same name. Boathouse Diner, um, it it's like what, Dockyard Restaurant, but they, they look very similar. So I guess in one way, it might be good that they found it early and they're not supporting these clone bricks. I mean, my stance on clone bricks is a little bit... Um, a little bit mixed. I mean, I would never purchase them, but I would. I can't go ahead and discourage other people because I do know that Lego is very expensive. Anyways, getting off track. <laughs> so this is this is the news. Definitely sad to hear. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, there are still quite a few cool sets. I mean, those were definitely some of the ones I was most excited about. But uh, Winter Chalet also looks cool. Let's get back to the news, though. So next up, we have the Lego Harry Potter 20 Years minifigures. Now, this actually reminds me of what they did with Star Wars. I think this is 20 years since the first movie released. Um, I might be wrong with that. This might be 20 years since the first Lego Harry Potter set came out. Um, and this was actually released on the Lego Instagram. We have Harry Potter, Voldemort, I think Severus Snape, Hermione, um, Ron, and then Quirrell. Um, so... I'll, I'll tell you quite quickly what I think about this. I, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of these sets because like they kind of make you buy all of them because it's like collectible or whatever. And uh, I, I do wish that they didn't do these kinds of things. I do understand that it's obviously good for marketing everything. And I'm actually kind of curious that if they're going to release these in Pearl Gold. Um... I'm also interested in seeing what sets they're going to release. I wonder if this is where we're reaching towards the end, half of the whole Harry Potter sets, because I think what they're doing with this new theme is they're going through the movies. I think the latest ones were like movies five and six or books five and six. So this might be reaching the end of the Harry Potter theme, which I am actually a fan of. So I'm not, it's not like I'm not going to buy these sets. I will buy these sets. It's just that I am not a huge fan of these collectible or these 20, 20 years things because um, they kind of make you get a ton of sets just so you... Well, they don't make you. I guess it's just that you, you want to collect them all. So that those are just my thoughts again. 
So we have a Duplo set. I usually don't cover Duplo releases, but I thought it was kind of neat because this is a space shuttle mission. It's uh, two plus, 23 pieces, and I guess it kind of coincides with the 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 shuttle we got recently. Um, we have this set, which has been spotted, I think, in a Target, looks like that from the picture. This is eight plus. We have a very, very long name. I'll try to read that without making too many um, pronunciation errors. Uh, the Mopar Dodge SRT Top Fuel Dragster N1970 Dodge Challenger T slash A. I do not know a lot about cars and I do not know a lot about these specific cars, but I can tell you from a layman's perspective, they look nice. And this is something I have never seen in Lego, at least not recently. Um, looks like almost bicycle wheels over there. And this is cool. I'm, I'm definitely going to look at this i don't know if i'll buy it i've never really bought speed champion sets outside of parting out but it's interesting now we have rumors that we're going to get a marvel cmf series now we have had a dc cmf series which was released 2020 and there have been rumors to the extent where i'm i mean i'm pretty sure that we're actually going to get it now the question is when are we going to get it probably this year i mean there's a lot of hype going on with the Disney Plus series. We have, what, the Loki, the WandaVision, What If, I think uh, the Winter Soldier and Falcon Tua. So I think the the, the rumor is that they're going to be based on those new Disney Plus series. And I think that's very exciting news. We've already had our yearly series, which is the Series 21. Um, and then we're going to have one licensed series, the uh, Looney Tunes. So I'm guessing if this is released, it'll come out maybe that August, September time frame. I think we have a pretty routine schedule with the CMFs that we have one in January, one in April or May, and then one in August, September. I was just looking at the history, so that would be interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Um, we're reaching towards the end of our news for this week. I know this is going super long. Um, <laughs> the Razor Crest is back in stock on the LEGO website. This is a set that I know is going to go up in value, absolutely. These minifigures are going to be like gold in a couple years. Um, again, this is not an investing video, so I'm not going to jump into that. But pick it up if you're interested. Seems like a cool set. Um, also, I will be leaving a link in the description. Um, the founder of LEGO, right? Ole Kirk Christiansen. Again, apologies if I mispronounce the name. Uh, he actually is celebrating his 130th birthday. Uh, yesterday so unfortunately as you probably know he has passed away but i think that is a super cool news item i think his grandson might still be working with the lego company i believe he might be the chairman or something like that um i don't know honestly but that's a super cool uh date now this is some very interesting news the lego masters season two is coming out and premiering June 1st. So this is actually pretty quick. Um, I think they shot in February and March. So I guess they are probably done uh, shooting uh, footage and everything for that. So they're probably getting into the next stages. And this is pretty cool news. Um, I don't know. Let's let's see what happens. And um, I'm, I'm excited to see the contestants. So the uh, Ultra Boost DNA X or whatever Times Lego plates was released this morning. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I had no intention to buy these. These were $200, and I don't think I, I'm at the stage where I can blow $200 on a pair of rare shoes. They did actually sell out within like three minutes. I mean, I refreshed the page at like 10, 3 a.m., and they were out of stock. Maybe they went out of stock even earlier. I did think that was pretty fast. Let's see how much they're on the aftermarket. I don't know how these Adidas shoe releases work. Maybe they're going to come back or something like that. Um, interesting, though. Yeah, that wraps up this week's news. Thanks again for checking it out. I hope this didn't run too long, and I hope you guys have a good day.